Good morning, everybody. Time is half past two in the morning. Or in the middle of the night, depending on what you want to call it. I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> I'm going to throw in a clip after this one. Um, where I'm showing you the bedroom. But the bedroom is done. Except for that I need to wash the rest of the clothes and get that on, spot, on uh, the right spot. But except for that, the bedroom is done, the kitchen is done, and the living room is about halfway done. I'm currently sorting my office. I changed the tables around and I have taken the round table I had my laptop on down at the couch and put it under that round table underneath the tree so the tree is now elevated up and the regular table you normally have to these type of couches that I have I have put over to it so now I have that up and running and I have been throwing out garbage I have been making food I made I stew and then I realized I forgot to buy carrots so it's Irish stew minus the carrots. It still tastes good. Um, except for shortly after I ate that, my stomach started making trouble. So I don't know if it's because of barely eating today. And that's the first real meal I get. Or what, but it has been crazy ever since. And that was not the plan. Nothing is usually the plan. So, I also found another wax tablecloth that I bought last Christmas that was hidden away in the drawer inside my bedroom. And that one goes with a silver theme. And the one I have on the table goes with a gold or very colorful theme. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one I have on now for gold theme year and the other one for silver year. Because I do want to have a gold and silver years uh, decorations. So that's kind of where we're at. And when I'm, when I'm talking gold and silver, I am talking about the middle balls things you put on the tree. And that kind of stuff. Uh, a silver, yeah, most of it will just be silver or some kind of grey tone. And gold, it will be gold or golden toned. There will be possible for green, red, and blue to be mixed in. But except, and white, of course, but except for that, it will be the main middle. Middle. Middle? Middle. Colors too early in the morning or too late in the night you pick but I am considering going to bed even though I say I won't stay up but I've been doing good progress <sighs> and I can not say do more I got a load running in the dryer I want to finish and then I want to shut everything off because when I went out with garbage, it turns out we got a uh, frost coming down. The water that's coming down is turned to ice. Immediately it's hitting the ground. So that's not going to be fun driving in. Uh, Luck for me, I don't have to drive tomorrow. But still, for those who have to drive, it's not going to be fun. That also means my front is going to be very, very my front steps are going to be very slippery tomorrow. <sighs> so what's missing? The half of this room is missing and a few things need to be organized. But except for that, I think I'm done in here. Then I need to still take care of the bathroom, which as long as it's close up there, it's not going to be done. The front... I can't do anything about before I get a helping hand to move things. Because what that's going to happen out there is that I am going to tear off the carpet. Yes, you heard me right. Tearing off the carpet. And washing the floors out there. 
and that means also empty a lot of stuff in here and I don't want to do that right now so that front interest will just have to be as it is I hope Mrs. Claus can accept that and I want that window out at the toilet and bath closed because of that weather thing so that's why I'm just waiting for the clothes to dry a little bit more then I can turn it off and then I can start it up again tomorrow where we're supposed to have plus degrees instead of minus so I think I'm gonna hit the bed and I see you guys when I get up oh my god ow Time to get up. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. <laughs> oh. By the way, we got snow <laughs> when I was sleeping. <laughs> ah. It's beautiful. <laughs> so that's more than a centimeter, a half a centimeter. That. So it has started. They also did warn about 20 centimeters snow. And there's a good wind too. The snow has been stopped. Uh, snowing down there's still some snowflakes coming down but it's not as powerful well I said that too fast <laughs> now it starts it up again <laughs> but it's a bigger um, snowflakes which makes it a lot more beautiful <sighs> let's see what mrs. Claus have for me because I don't know if it's it's fast five because I'm not done yet uh, technically what I'm missing is the rest of this office area and the bathroom oh my <laughs> oh. Alba has been getting over 20 centimeters of snow so and they were warning about not getting outside <sighs> We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin, good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. December 7th. I am very satisfied with what you have achieved and you are almost done. Then you can see for yourself how powerful you can be when you don't have to help others and put yourself first. Have a good day with kind regards from Mrs. Santa Claus. Well, she's right. If I stop helping people, um... I will have a lot more power, um, energy and power in myself to actually get stuff done around here. And that's the truth and I know that but I also help, love to help people. Um, because if you need help once in a while then you at least have someone to go to because they technically owe you some help too. So. Uh, the neighbor helped me with a lamp and helped me drag a couple of things around. Um, 
in the end of the day, I owe one day of babysitting the cat. And that's two times I have to go over there and checking. That's not going to cost me anything. Um, I'm just thankful that he will help me out with lifting some of the heavy stuff. But I am trying to get this done by the end of today. So, what's missing? I need to finish this office. I need to finish off the bath, bath, bathroom. And when the bathroom is done, then I can reorganize the back entrance. I can't do anything at the front before we tear off the carpet. And something tells me that's not going to happen on this side of the Christmas. So yeah, um, I am going to get some breakfast and I am going to watch a couple of videos to wake up on. We all know what that is. Stay. And then... Oops. I am going to continue with cleaning. Hopefully by the end of the time I am done cleaning. I may actually have some boxes I can put some of the Christmas stuff in. Let's put this under the tree and then let's get some breakfast. So this is how the bedroom look looking now. I'm going to use that shelf for backup for the kitchen, but except for that. And that's what I mean with getting those shelving, uh, those uh, baskets for those ones. I think it's been cleaned up. Some of my jewelry, jewelry has been getting in here. Hi guys! <laughs> Don't tip over. Just some jewelry I own. Oh. And this, believe it or not, was actually made to me in my birthday gift from a camp I was on, a Christian camp I was on back in the days. Not that I a strong believer in God and that kind of stuff. But I do believe there's more between heaven and earth than people can understand. Nothing more than that. So is that that there is a God out there or something like that? Maybe. Or maybe something else. I do not judge and I don't judge others' beliefs. It's simple as that. This is going to go outside. Oh my back hurts. <sighs> Time is 20 minutes to 2. And why do I not have any Wi Fi? Or what is that? Oh, driver. Okay. Uh, my neighbor just. Um, fixed his walkway in front of the house <laughs> and I opened the window and said you do know they have promised 20 centimeters of snow right oh has they yes they have <laughs> and the moment he uh, shortly after he started shoveling he started drizzling down snow again and he's still doing it <laughs> I told him you know what I would have been out but if it's gonna come with all that snow I'm not gonna go or fix my walkway because with that frost we're gonna get it's gonna make ice underneath because I don't have any salt to throw out and that's a problem <laughs> so I'm not gonna shovel snow any case I have been going through some of the stuff over here I've been doing some laundry that kind of stuff 
there's a couple of things I need to look out for. I need to look out for some kind of uh, scrunchy holder. I need to look out for some type of clap, uh, clip, hair clip holder. Uh, don't know, those two, I don't know what I'm going to do with scrunchy holder. I was thinking something like a towel, like uh, XXL scrunchy has, something like that. Oh, excuse me. I need to throw that out, that out, that out, that out, that out to the dishes. And then we are sudden said us actually we are done. Yeah. We can't do anymore. Because the rest is projects that needs to be done. But at least I'm that point where I can actually take my laptop put put it up here again. Because I couldn't do that because I was spending time down at the couch and I wanted the laptop down there. I'm tired. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple of things and then I am probably going to get some food. Such a gorgeous view. But, I can only have a problem. My dryer is not fast enough. My washing machine can wash a lot faster than it can dry. The dryer can dry the clothes. That's one problem, so I'm always behind with the drying. Same of all. I am constantly running out of space to put things because I need to drop things off outside the house. I can't leave the house. Order by Mrs. Claus or Santa's wife or whatever you want to call her. Can't leave the house unless you give me permission. So that's the thing, I need to drop some uh, sheets off down my daddy, I need to drop bottles off and I need to go and find a shovel and a broom thing so I can shovel my walkway if it get worse. Then I found this uh, uh, glass thing I put on the table and I believe it's an old gift I got back in the days. I actually totally forgot that I had it. But it will make a good centerpiece for something, fruit or something at that small table. Which means I can technically not do anything more except for wash clothes. That's all I can do. And that's probably a good thing because I need to get into the bottom of that. There's one thing I'm washing right, washing right now that I want my daddy to have. It's a cover on top of the mattress for him. I want him to have that one. Otherwise I just need to go down with those blankies and uh, not blankies, cover things. And so I got a road right outside my windows. And normally when I was filming in my bedroom you couldn't hear it. Now when I'm filming in my living room you can definitely hear it. So um can do more except for doing the laundry and that's going to take all day in between I'm going to have to put the clothes away and that's going to kill my back so there will be a lot of sitting down, standing up stuffing the machines and that's all for the rest of the day I am spent I even made a box Wood, uh, cardboard box for electronics until I decide what I want to do with them there is a cardboard box underneath that table and I have two boxes that is mainly electronic I can pop into that box what's up for that? I'm done so I'm satisfied with myself um, next, next big problem, a pro project for the house would be the front entrance. 
uh, get the carpet torn off out there. Um, let's see if that's gonna happen on this side of Christmas. But that would be the next big thing for the house inside. And I actually last evening managed to make a list of painting projects I would like to start on next year because next year it's going to be a different year I'm going to try to think more about myself and just say you know what I can't do that right now because I got things I need to do I know that's going to be hard but I'll have to take my battle some I will have to lose some I will have to win you just have to prioritize. No more driving halfway to ski before then to turn around and then still get late on everything else. No more of that. Unless someone is dying, okay, but otherwise, nope. That's the end of that era. I can tell you that much because I am tired of being late for things because I'm always helping others. So yeah, that does mean I still won't help people, but there has to be a boundary somewhere. And I need to figure out that boundary. And I need to start looking into actually looking after myself mentally more than physically. But I'm really so overweight. I know I am. That's not the point. The point is, if I let everyone else control my life, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be a very, very, very sad person. I can tell you that much. I have had too many people doing that to me in my life when I was younger, and it did not make me happy. And I had a lot of people doing at work on my previous works to the point of me getting out of the building store, going into my car and breaking down and crying for 10, 15 minutes before I was so calm enough for me to actually drive home. That's how bad it was. And I don't want to get there again. So I need to figure out some way to prioritize myself. Will that mean go into the buy a year car to the water park and go more to the water park? Because then I can close off the phone. And not only take care of my body, but also say, you know what? This is me time. Me, not anyone else. That may I'm actually considering doing that when I find a thousand corner because it costs around a thousand corner for that so that may be a thing maybe we'll have to see uh, but for now I also got you also know I got a ton of creative projects I want to do painting I got an entire list of painting projects painting series painting on different strange things um, making digital things, doing two books and a coloring book and I got so many things and not enough time in the day and I just have to start from one end and work through it and get through all stuff and just try to prioritize not running around being a driver for everyone else would help a lot but most of the time they wouldn't ask. I know at least, at least several of them do not, don't even have a car. And the buses normally don't drive to where they need to go when they call me. So that's, that's okay. But if they have a car themselves, they should definitely drive themselves. Heavy lifting, I come down and do a little bit of. But... If you have a car, you should definitely drive yourself because I can't take time out of my day for it anymore. It's just, we get to that point where I need to prioritize me. So yeah, that was my little ramble. I thought I would 
put my point and my thoughts out there. And let's see how that goes. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button or bell for notifications. And throw in that like for giving me some good luck. And it's all free. We love free things. See you guys tomorrow. Good night.